Hey everyone, good evening. All right, so I wanted to go over this look right here. Um, so what I used is I used Merle Norman has these amazing shadow sticks. I love these shadow sticks. Um, I believe I have been wearing this look pretty much all day and it has lasted really, really well. So the three colors that I have are Almond Cookie, not that y'all could read that, Almond Cookie, which is going to be kind of like this matte um, concealer-like color. So I will swatch it for you right here. So as you can see, it's very, very light, like a concealer. And that's gonna be this color up here. So all I did was I put this on all the way from lash line, lash line to my eyebrow and just blended it up with my finger. These work really, really well with your fingers. Um, and it's a really interchangeable, like you can just get so many of these and I have Mystic, which is my number one favorite color, but these are coming in at a close second. So the next one I'm going to show you is Bronze Age. So it is this color right here. It's a bronzy color, kind of like a brown, but it has a little bit of that shimmer to it. And all I did with this is I lined the uh, lash line like that and it is super super pretty and on the other eye too I'm about to take my makeup off so I don't want to reapply um, but that could be a look all on its own with just the bronzed liner there and then it would be almond cookie and, and uh, bronze age um, and so that's, you can do that with any of them. You can just use them as a liner. You could even, if you had a steadier hand, you could even kind of line the bottom and do a full smoky look with it. I mean, that's a look right there. Uh, you could do it like one um, where you can line it even on the lid. You could go up a bit like I did with Luna, which I'm about to explain that, um, and just blend it up with your fingers. I mean, it's so, so simple. I love, love, love these colors. I love our colors in Merle Norman. Um, the other one that you're seeing right here is called Luna. Luna is going to be a grayish kind of green. I'll swatch it for you right here. So it's a metallic um, grayish green and it's so pretty in person. You guys have no idea how pretty it is. All I did with Luna is I went right, right next to to Bronze Age and then I brought it all the way up and then I blended the rest out with my finger. And that's it, that's all I did. And of course you can go underneath as well and kind of complete the look if you wanted to so that both colors are there. I don't have any mascara on. I didn't, I mean it was just a homebody day so these are the colors, Almond Cookie, Bronze Age, and Luna. And of course, you don't have to do them this way. You can just use Luna and not do Bronze Age there. Um, I didn't even prep my eyes. I didn't even put uh, the, what is it called? Primer, eyeshadow primer. I just used uh, almond cookie all over and this is the look. It's almost nine o'clock and I've had it on for about six to eight hours now. So yeah, and no creasing, no separating. 
Um, so let me just talk a little bit about these eyeshadow sticks and why I love them. All right, so first off, these eyeshadow sticks um, are the original packaging from Merle Norman. They have since just now uh, have new colors and new packaging. The new packaging comes with a sharpener on the end, and it also comes with a smudge brush on the end as well. Um, it also has, I believe, five new colors uh, added to the line. These will be um, revamped to the new packaging, so uh, they're still going to keep the colors. They're just going to repackage them in the new packaging. Um, hopefully, they'll keep all of the colors. I know some of the colors are actually going to be discontinued, unfortunately. They have two colors. One is called Glow. The other one is called Fortune. I believe Glow might be already discontinued. I'm not sure. Um, but they were very, very similar. Um, both of them were like that sparkly um, champagne, like just like a sparkle champagne, like gold, you know, sparkle. Um, so one of them was a little bit more gold, one was a little bit more like metallic whitish gold. Um, so yeah, so they discontinued one of them. I can't remember which one. Mystic is uh, the one that I love, love, love. Um, but like I said, these are coming in at really just at the top of my list. Um, on the new colors, I like uh, Bow. Bow is a really beautiful pink. It's also metallic. There's a lot of metallic colors in uh, the shadow sticks, I have to say. In the older line, there's at least four different colors for matte colors. Um, there's a matte brown, there's a matte gray, and I believe there's another matte uh, called Toast, I believe, and Toast is like a darker version of Almond Cookie. So that's Almond Cookie, and Toast looks kind of like this, but without the sparkle. Um, what else to say about them? They're really great for hooded eyes. They're really great if you don't know how to do eyeshadow. I mean, this looks really kind of like, I mean, I wouldn't say professional, but it looks pretty. It looks decent and I feel confident and I can go out and out on a date or to any function that requires, you know, a little bit more sassy um, look to the eyes. Um, it's also great, you know, just to put some color. So if you are having like a hard time experiencing like, I don't know where to put blue. In the new colors, there's a blue called denim and it is a very beautiful blue and you can just use it as an eyeliner just like I did with um, Bronzed Age and it's a great way to add color to your eyeshadow without looking like you're from the 1980s. Um, other than that, they're like I said, they're great for hooded eyes. I did a I did several, I do several, several women that have hooded eyes or just droopy lids, you know, from age. And it's great because where they're not droopy is right along the lash line. And so that's where I put the color and it looks beautiful um, and it's easy to do. And you only need your fingers, you don't need a brush to make these blend out and they stay pretty much all day like all day long um and yeah i've been rubbing my eyes too so they've been getting kind of smoked <laughs> smoked out and blended out so uh i forget that i'm wearing eyeshadow on my eyes and i end up rubbing my eyes so um anyway yes i've been wanting to show you guys <laughs> these shadow sticks and how amazing they are and how cool they are. I know that there are other brands out there that have the shadow sticks. I understand that. Um, but you know, I am very partial to Merle Norman. I love Merle Norman. I love the brand. And 
I'm not sure, but I think Merle Norman did come out with Shadow Sticks before the competition did. I want to say that we did. We've had them for a long time, a pretty, pretty long time. Caution, caution. Not that these will work for pretty much everybody across the board, but I did happen to upon someone that it did not work out for. She had um, very oily lids. Now, this could be due to whatever she's using at home. I don't know her skincare routine. I have no idea what she's using. And it just dissipated on her eyes. Like, it just did not work out. Honestly, come into the store. Try these on. Let's see if it wears out throughout the day. If it crinkles up on you. Whatever it does. The competition, she ended up liking, she actually had some shadow sticks from another brand and um, it ended up working better for her skin. And that might happen for you. You know, you may try our shadow sticks and you may be like, mm, no, that didn't work out. Um, but some other brand might work out for you and that, that's totally fine. I get it. I, I really get it. Not, these aren't made for absolutely everybody. Um, but yeah, check them out. Go to a Merle Norman store and check out our shadow sticks. They are highly looked over. Everyone always goes towards the, you know, the regular eyeshadow and yeah, I mean, I love regular eyeshadow too. I do, but these shadow sticks are super quick, super easy. For new moms, for people that don't know how to do eyeshadow, I don't know how to do eyeshadow and it kind of looks like I do. Um, and for people that have hooded eyes, people that want to incorporate color but they don't know how, get out of the grays, get out of the browns, get out of the blacks, um, and put pink and purple or Luna or something crazy like denim. Anyway, that's I could go on and on about these. I wish I could do everyone's makeup and put these colors on you guys. And yeah, cause they're so fun. And they're, I mean, look, so fun. Okay, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.